So first, elbow hoopa is, uh, he's going to fire an elbow at me. When I do this, my hand, my, my uh, left hand is going to come across his, right at his elbow, whatever, somebody probably knows what that muscle is, we don't know what it is. Uh, I'm going to shoot that across like a, a rock skipping on a pond, okay? I'm not catching it like this, because if he pushes, uh, it's going to collapse, and I'm not catching it like that, because I'm a sissy and it will hurt a lot and probably break my arm. So when his hand comes up, I'm firing that out here. I'm letting... My forearm skip over the top of his, that drives his elbow into my arm and the friction makes it stop for a split second. I'm not hanging out and posing for black belt, right? So when he does that, this hand wedges up and underneath and I bring it past my shoulder. I'm gonna check his hand down and then from where my hand is, see I didn't pull my hand back, I'm gonna fire an elbow at Thane's face. He wedges up, checks down. One, two, three. One, two, three. You wanna be as preemptive as possible. If you catch this here, uh, it's really hard to get your hand over the top, okay? In a perfect world, right now, his arm is in really good structure. His shoulders is really cohesive, so he'll drive a lot of power with his body. If I can catch it when his hand's here, look what happens to him. It knocks him backwards because he hasn't constructed his shoulder structure yet, right? So that does good things. This clears, and I check down, right? Bang, whoa, there you go. Sounds good. It's all slappy. Must be good martial arts, right? But now for fun, when you do this, you can do this, and then if you watch this hand, you can hacksaw into the ribs, which is disconcerting as all hell. Sweep it across and hit. He comes here, oh, he does that, 